Do you want to learn how to stream on Twitch using a mobile streaming setup? If you've watched any of my other videos, then you'll know that this is not my streaming studio whatsoever. I'm actually on the go traveling at the moment, but I still need to be able to stream on Twitch and make YouTube videos because it's my job. So I'll be showing you all the essentials that I brought with me. So that way you'll get a better idea of what I use or what you'll need when you're traveling, trying to stream on Twitch on the go. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a like on the video to help other streamers find this video. And obviously if you care about how your Twitch stream is on the go, then you also got to care about how it looks. Own.tv is the number one place to get all of your overlays, alerts, and panels for your Twitch streams. My favorite thing about them are their stream design bestseller packages because you can check any of these lovely packages and it just includes everything you could possibly want for your Twitch stream. So as you can see, it's all nice and cohesive. You get all these different animated alerts, animated webcam overlays, panels for your Twitch stream, even different starting soon, pause screen, end screen, and all that sort of stuff. So if you guys want to take your stream to the next level, make sure to check out Own.tv. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can find it and shout out to own for sponsoring today's video so let me give you guys a little tour of my mobile streaming setup i got going on right now so you can get a better idea of what it looks like and then i'll break it down piece by piece so this is my mobile streaming setup as you can see it's pretty basic and there's a couple things i want to go over by the way i'll leave all of this linked in the description down below where you guys can check it out this is the acer aspire vx15 originally when i first started streaming on twitch i actually bought that before i even bought my gaming pc because i needed to make music on the go and i just wanted something that i could take with me and then I upgraded to a PC. So the biggest thing is obviously my gaming laptop. I also have a video on the best gaming laptops you can get so I'll leave that in the card in the top right where you can watch after this video if you want. You guys notice that we got a second monitor right there and actually since I'm going to be at this location for a little while I actually just went to a random thrift store. I found this monitor for five dollars and then I bought this adapter right here on eBay for like two to three dollars and so basically you can find old monitors like that at a thrift store that have this VGA connection you can tell by the blue little plug right there. And then I have an adapter for a couple bucks that takes the VGA and turns it into HDMI. So that way you can have a second screen for very cheap. Alternatively, if you don't have the option to go to a thrift store, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can actually get a second monitor clip-on that clips onto the back of the laptop and then you can just slide it out and you get two. It's a little more pricey. Obviously, it's more than $5, but you know, if you don't have the option to do what I can right there, then the second screen option will probably be better for you, but obviously it's gonna cost a little bit more. My webcam is the Logitech Brio. I actually really like this webcam and it makes it look super nice with like minimal effort. Right now you can see it is a little bit blue, but I have it set that way on purpose. I changed the white balance just to give it more of a gaming aesthetic because I'm just in a very plain room. I got some lights over here and that interferes with it. So it's more of a personal choice. I also have a video on the Logitech Brio. I'll leave that in the top right corner as well. You can watch that after. Just a review video of what I think of it after using the C920 for so many years. Most of you guys have noticed, where is your microphone? Because normally I have this nice like $300 microphone that I use. I knew that I couldn't have that. So I actually went out of my way to buy this guy right here. It's just basically like a clip-on lapel microphone. Power to wise, I think it's like 30 bucks. If you look on my shirt, it's a little clip-on lapel microphone right here. And it sounds pretty decent. One thing though is that the audio card on this laptop sucks so bad. So in order to make the microphone sound good, I had to buy this little $10 USB sound card. So I plug in the lapel microphone into to the USB sound card. So that's how I get my microphone to work, which is really, really convenient. And you don't have to lug around like a giant blue Yeti everywhere. Also, since I make music for video games and other things, I need a professional set of headphones. These headphones have lasted me several years. You can see the cups are starting to degrade a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. I'll leave these linked in the description down below. I use these for my music production. I use it for streaming. I use it for literally everything. They're a little bit pricey. I think they're between $150 around that price category. They've lasted so long. They're the best headset I've ever Ever used, especially for the amount of money that you're paying for it. Other than that, I have a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse, but the cool thing about this is that they're actually linked. So they only take one USB port right there. So when you plug that in, it actually connects both of them, which is super sweet because as you know, laptops don't really have that many USB ports. I got three. So I got one for the keyboard and mouse combo. Then I got one for the Logitech Brio. And then I have the third one for my USB sound card because with this specific laptop, the sound card on this is garbage. And then if you have the option to connect via ethernet, always take that option, especially when you're streaming or uploading videos to YouTube because uploading takes forever as well as streaming. So you wanna get the best internet connection possible. Always have just a little ethernet cable that you can bring. It doesn't take up too much room and then you can just plug it into the wall if you have the option. Otherwise, if you're streaming off of Wi-Fi, chances are 
out, you're gonna lag and it's gonna look very poor. And then as far as streaming on Twitch, I'm using Streamlabs OBS right here. So watch this video right here. It'll show you how to get started with Streamlabs OBS and how I use it to stream on Twitch. Comment Spooky Gang down below if you made it to the end of the video. I'll see you next time.